If you're running into problems with your dog getting them to hold place, one there's one thing that you can do that's a pretty quick fix most of the time, and that's have them on the e-collar when they when they're on place. And I do this with most, if not all, the dogs when they're on place because you know we have a lot of dogs in here, and and I mainly use e-collars around here as a safety protocol. But with owners, it's important because if you think of the e-collar, it's it's, it's an off-leash training device. It's primarily what it's for. And off-leash in many ways begins in the home. In their e-collar savvy, especially after they finish a board and train with me. So they'll know if you enforce it and you pay attention, you know, as soon as they get a paw off, because they'll test it. And just correct with the e-collar and they'll get right back on. A um, <clears throat> few times they'll, they'll see that you're going to enforce the rules. They'll stop trying. Um... You know, if that sounds harsh, then it's, it's just a correction. Just like it's just instead of using the leash, we're using the e-collar. Now, I think that some of this stuff is predicated upon people have this misconception about e-collars. Like, they're for aggressive dogs or they're for, like, the worst, the worst. Quiet down, Otis, <laughs> big baby. Um, but it's it, that's not the case at all. They're off-leash training devices. And right now, they're off-leash. Otis is a leash on because in case he gets off, so if I go to sleep, he gets way off. I want to be able to lead him back on. Um, some dogs you just point they should be at that level they get right back on uh, with him you know he's got that opportunist thing going where he'll probably play dumb so I'll keep the leash on for that purpose but really I'm using the e-collar to correct if they do get off and they don't with me and I like I'm in the kitchen I'm in the living room I'm cleaning I, I especially at the end of the day I'm organizing and I keep half an eye on them I'm doing stuff and that's the beauty of place. You know, you can take your dog a lot of places with places they get good at it. Like, I'll work out, you know, downstairs. Sometimes with my dogs, I keep them on a place. Stuff like that. Um, but you got to practice it daily. It's not a hard thing to practice. But what makes it easy is, is the e-collar. Um, I feel like the e-collar can be a tool, uh, crutch a lot of times for people. It's one of the major weaknesses of this tool. But for this, it's great. Um, so use it. And don't, and don't feel bad, you know. Um, whatever notions people have about e-callers in the back of their minds, maybe unconsciously, where they think like, you know, it's, 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 it's like a really aversive training tool. If the setting, if it is at the right level, then they're good with it. If, if you do it too high, then you start burning them up, then obviously it's, it's the same as just giving them too hard of a leash correction. Okay, or using too intense of a collar. So just calibrate it properly. Uh, that's it. I, pretty easy. But I, I run into this a little bit with people sometimes. See, Butchie doesn't have one of them. What a dick. No, Butchie, place. Good boy. Good place. Um, see? They're savvy. Just, so just the presence of the e-collar alone, a lot of times they'll keep it on it. But Butchie knows better. I just... He doesn't do much, man. He's a sleeper. You gotta do more work with you, fat boy. Alright, that's it.